Yo, what's going on this morning? It's your boy, Michael Patterson. We buy houses, 912 LLC. Please say the C. What we doing over here? We help. Who do we help? We help ordinary people become profitable real estate investors in 60 days or less. Say it with your chest. Let go. Good morning, man. I hope y'all feeling good. It is 821 in the morning time. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you'll know every time that this pops up in the morning, notifications on. Also, make sure that you have your believers business confessional so we can come believe and confess this together. Try to get to you guys every morning before nine o'clock. Make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe based on whatever channel you are on. But we're going to go ahead and hop in this thing, man. So if y'all ready, I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready because I'm ready. Y'all ready? Let's go. Father, I thank you that your favor goes before me. I thank you that your favor surrounds me like a shield. I thank you that you load me up with benefits daily. I thank you that I'm blessed in the city and in the field. I thank you that you will not withhold any good thing from me. Thank you for causing the works of my hands to multiply. I thank you that the fruit of my labor springs forth in the correct season and not before its time. I thank you for causing my business to prosper. I thank you that the enemies of my business cannot prosper against me. Thank you, Father, for providing abundant supply of what's needed to flourish. Thank you for allowing me to dominate in my industry. I thank you that I attract the right employees and they prosper also. Thank you for anointing my mind to see and prosper from opportunities that others don't see. Thank you for allowing me to create generational wealth. Thank you that my family calls me blessed. Thank you that my friends call me blessed. Thank you that my city calls me blessed. Thank you for blessing me with more business than I can receive. Thank you for blessing me to bless others. I believe what I confess. I receive what I confess. And I will do what I confess today. Come on, somebody. All right. <clears throat> Got it out. Hope you guys have, were able to quote it. Hope you guys are able to believe it. And I know some of you guys are, 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 are so excited about the confession because I'm still getting people to message me every day saying, please send me a copy of that business confessional. And you know what I do? Send it to them. How much do I charge them? Absolutely nothing. Totally free. No charge. So appreciate y'all. So here we go, guys. We're going to hop into it. So I want to talk about the three things that I learned as a leader that helped me grow exponentially. This really changed my uh, changed my leadership um, and changed my leadership style because once upon a time, I began to to pursue things that were not achievable. What's going on, baby? I was uh, doing uh, doing things that were really not achievable, and I wanted to impress God, uh, knowing that really he can't even be impressed, all right? He just wants you to do what he tell you to do. So I try to do extra, try to go overboard, and then I learned that, man, you're really doing too much. So so here we go. I'm, I was praying. I was like, man, let me, let me, let me go ahead and impress you with – well, what I'm about to say, well, how do you impress the person that created language? He you know all them words. All right. We ain't got to worry about that. So the first thing that I want to that I want to encourage you guys to do, I know you've heard it. Everybody tell you, make sure you read 1000 books a year. Now, nah, they tell you to read 100 books a year. Ladies and gentlemen, I know some of you guys may disagree with me, but I don't care. I looked at this the other day and I said when I was in college, like in a college course, Four years, they don't even have you to read 100 books. And I want to tell you guys, as a leader, you have to be careful that you don't do things that just sound good. Because what good is it for me to read 100 books, but I can't even apply the principles that I'm supposed to learn in 100 books? It's overwhelming. So what I want you to do is condense. You do what you want to do, but I'm going to tell you what I did. I condense how much I consume. Have I ever read 100 books in a year? I sure did. Can I recall all of that stuff? Absolutely not. So you have an area of focus in your life and an area of focus in your business. And if you have too many voices, you're going to be confused on what to do because some books tell you to handle a situation like this. Other books tell you to handle a situation like that. So you have to make sure don't read 100 books. If you do, whatever. But what I'm telling you is make sure you find your area of focus. If you are a therapist, if you are a, con a, a contractor, you need to be reading books on therapy. You need to be reading books on contracting. Okay. You need to be reading books on mindset. As you're reading those books, you find what's in those books that you can apply to your business because you ain't got to read 100 books. You don't. 
But I'm not telling you not to be an avid reader because I'm an avid reader. But make sure you read enough books to apply. Because honestly, if you read one to two books a year, because look, in college, you only read five books a semester. Ten in a year. So in four years, you read 40 books. And, and you mastered the course. You got a degree for reading 40 books. So you're reading 100 a year now for what? Anyway, moving right along. So listen, don't overwhelm yourself trying to achieve success. Next thing, don't start anything that you can't sustain. That has been a major thing for me. I hate being overwhelmed. I really do, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I will really assess the situation because when I was in college, I did too much stuff. I was a football player. I was in the choir. Why am I? Let me do my This is football player. I was in the choir. I was at SGA. I ran my own ministry. I was the president. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not only did I have my own ministry, I was the president for campus ministry. Next, I was the chaplain for the football team. I was a chaplain for the choir. Oh, I forgot. And I was an ambassador for the college, which meant I had to travel and do all kind of stuff and speak on behalf of the college. So here it is. I got these eight things and probably more that I'm trying to juggle all at one time. And I did it, but it was crazy as hell because I was losing my mind in the process. So what I'm telling you guys, don't start anything that you cannot sustain. If you cannot sustain it, don't start it. If you have a, a ministry or a business that you're doing, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a practice within that thing. So if you're, if you say, Hey guys, we're going to wake up every day at three o'clock and we're going to pray. If you cannot sustain that, meaning that you lose the joy out of it, you, you can't wait to miss days, then you shouldn't even start it. Next, master yourself while leading. If you cannot master yourself, if you can't master yourself, you're, for lack of better words, congregants, okay? The, 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 your team will stop at some point. And I'm not saying they won't stay, they won't stop coming in because that's up to you on how you hire. But what I am saying is if you don't grow, neither will they. You cannot have a person in your organization following your leadership and they surpass you. That's that's very rare. If you have a leadership style of one, two, three, four, and five, and let's say that you that your leadership is at a level three. Well, guess what? Your team can't go past three. They can't. Your team cannot go past three. So you have to make sure that while you're in while you're in this process, you got to make sure that you master yourself. If you don't master yourself, you'll be out of business very, very soon. Because I've looked at business. I was on, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were talking. They were talking to me about their business, and they were saying that, um, you know, they're trying to do this, trying to do that to make the business pop. But when I looked at their business, the business is antiquated. It's old. Nobody does that anymore. Like nobody. The only people that 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 do what they do are people that don't know no better. There's no, there's no money there. So when you're mastering yourself, you're able to see other opportunities and, and be strong enough to transition so that your business can be sustained. Otherwise, you're gonna be lost in the sauce. But anyway, y'all, y'all make sure y'all go out there and bunch your D in the neck. <sighs> Don't let it go to a bless you. Love you guys. Enjoy your day. I said, enjoy your day.